What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So for today's video, it's gonna be a quick one, very simple, but it's just a simple tumbao exercise that you can try. Kind of mess with a little bit of timing, a little bit of tones and something different. Yeah, you gotta love the different stuff. Gotta love the different stuff. You already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. Welcome to a Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button just to find out whenever I upload. And please as well, hit that like button. I'm trying to tell you guys that really does help me a lot, especially to kind of spread the word and let YouTube know that there's a somebody crazy here trying to show percussion. But yeah, man. And as well, my day ones, man, I seriously love y'all. Thank you for all the continued support, all the comments, and just messaging me, man, and, and thanking me. It's just, I'm trying to tell you, it's, it gets overwhelming, but as well, it's it's a it's a blessing to to know that these videos are helping some of y'all. So for today's video, we're actually just gonna be using a basic, basic doom bow. Something very simple, something that, uh, you know, you could see, and you're gonna see what I'm gonna be doing. And again, this is an exercise. If you wanna try this as a lick or a combination, cool. But as well, it's really meant, and you're gonna see to, to kind of help you develop it in other areas of your playing, especially while using that tumbao. But yeah, let me show you. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of crazy, but you gotta love it. And yeah, let me show you what I'm doing. So if you notice, there's kind of like, you know, hopes you kind of understand where to come in, come out, and always land on those two opens of the tumbao. So what I do is I start with a basic tumbao. Y'all should already know what that is. Bass, finger, slap, finger, bass, finger, two opens. And if you don't know how to do that, please, don't watch this video. You're gonna get all confused. Don't watch this video. Learn that first, feel comfortable with it, and then start to learn some other stuff. And then come back to this video. So after doing one of those, this is where it starts to then go to the little combination. So after doing those two opens, you're kind of like the trigger that's gonna make you start doing the kind of two bases is actually going to be a ghost note, a finger with your non-dominant hand on the conga. And then what you're gonna do is two bases on the conga, but these are gonna be kind of like doubles. So that's kind of the point. It's not like one, two, it's supposed to be one, two, you know, like quick two bass hits and then an open with your non-dominant hand on the conga. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put that together, After doing that open with your non-dominant hand, what you're going to do is actually another double bass and then an open right on the conga. Literally the same way you just did it. The only part is that you're skipping the little finger part to help you kind of enter it. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put that together,
So to finish off this exercise, right after doing that open with your non-dominant hand on the conga, what we're actually gonna do is another double base, another two bases right here on the conga with your dominant hand. And then rather than going back to doing that open with your non-dominant hand on the conga, what we're actually gonna do is a close slap or an open slap with our non-dominant hand to then trigger us to do the two opens of a tumbao. So that same two open feel of a tumbao. That's how we actually end that exercise. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put everything together, it's gonna sound like this. The craziness, right? Because like the timing, it kind of like stutters a little bit. You don't know where you're at. And then you come right back to doing those two opens to kind of get you back started at the beginning. So it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing exercise to help you understand kind of like timing and as well, really figure out your tones. And you know, it's, it's, it's one of those exercises. It's just one of those, but yeah, to kind of play it all the way through, it's gonna sound like this. trying to tell you guys it's a great great exercise you start feeling kind of worn out in that dominant hand because literally it's only doing like two notes every single time it's crazy it's crazy but to count it slowly and play it slowly for you guys is gonna sound like this one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three one, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Get creative with it. It's kind of fun to just mess with those exercises, especially if you only have one drum. This is a, a great exercise to kind of get you going, understanding certain things about the Nubao and little, little secrets and extra spices to add if you wanted to. But please take your time, practice it, put a metronome on and yeah, see where it takes you. Just see where it takes you. But all right, y'all, y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.